Taylor here with AgriSpray Drones. Today we're doing a demonstration of the Agris T50 with the four nozzle configuration. Right here behind me, I have the Agris T50 with all four nozzles on there. Out of the box, you only get the two nozzles on the back, on the rear of the drone. This is how the 40 is, and a lot of the drones that have uh, the rotary atomizers are located on the back of the drone. There's an adapter kit uh, for the Agris T50 where we can put two nozzles uh, on the front arms, four nozzles in total. We utilize the same pumps. What that does is it opens up our flow. We can actually achieve up to a 6.4 gallon per minute flow rate. Why is that useful? Well, if you're doing two gallons per acre, not that useful. If you're doing anything higher than that, three, four, five, or even higher uh, gallon per acre, then it's gonna be able to increase your speed by increasing your allowable flow rate. What it also does is it puts some of the droplets coming out the front of the arms, meaning you get more downwash because those droplets are going beneath both the front and the rear rotors. So we're gonna demonstrate exactly what we mean live here in the field. I've got my field set up, uh, just a real simple uh, back and forth pass, and we are going to be doing a five gallon per acre rate, uh, 320 micron size, flight speed of 30 feet per second, uh, and a route spacing of 30 feet. Um, and there you can see our flow rates maxing out at that 6.34 gallon per minute. So we're gonna go ahead and back up, take off, get to work. Okay, so we're gonna lower down right now and watch this drone as it goes by. We're gonna achieve almost full speed because all four nozzles are spraying now. So this is gonna be able to create a better downforce with the front nozzle spraying, higher speed, and our droplet consistency is actually gonna be better because we're not forcing all of that six and a half, uh, or 6.3 gallon per minute to go just through two nozzles it's gonna be able to go through all four nozzles. So we have a lot less uh, droplet shear and we create a lot less, um, you know, smaller, finer droplets utilizing these four nozzles. All right, drone's back on the ground. We're gonna go ahead and change it over to our two nozzle configuration. All you have to do is go up here to your settings, sprayer settings, and then change back over to alternate mode. You have to do this on the ground. You cannot change this once it's in the air. So if you want two nozzles or four nozzles, check that setting before you take off. Okay, alternate mode is gonna fly forwards on the way down and backwards on the way back. And just doing the back two nozzles either direction. And there you can see we haven't changed our application rate uh, or our route spacing, but our speed is 10 feet per second less because our max flow rate with just two nozzles is uh, 4.2 gallons per minute. So let's take off and I'll show you guys what that looks like. So just like last time, the drone's gonna face forward on that first flight path, but notice we only have two nozzles now. And notice a lot less speed. And we're even gonna get more drift because we're forcing more water through the same two nozzles. 4.2 gallons per minute through two nozzles versus 6.3 through four nozzles. So those two nozzles have uh, more flow rate going through them, which is going to create A, uh, more uh, drift just because uh, we've got the back two nozzles spraying, but B, more drift because we have um, more shear creating uh, more driftable fines. There you go, that's the difference between two nozzles and four nozzles on the T50. If you have a T50, I highly suggest that you go ahead and get the four nozzle configuration. You might not always need it, but when you do, it is really, really handy to have, especially when you're looking at herbicide products that have a minimum volume of five gallons per acre, or sometimes even higher, or you're looking at applying something like a shade paint onto a Cool FX product, onto galvanized roofs, uh, or onto greenhouse applications, and even looking at fertilizer, um, you know, biologicals with a higher uh, volume, four nozzle configuration is phenomenal uh, for all of that. If you guys would like a 4 nozzle configuration or like to see one in person, see a demo of a T50 or any other questions, please reach out to us. We're always here to help. We have a dealer network nationwide. Thanks.